Jennifer. Well, Americans spent some $72 billion on their pets last year. That's a lot of kibble. But many of the priciest dog foods and products may not be the best for your furry children. On every pet food aisle, choices of grain-free food fill the shelves. It's pricey, but the makers tell us it's good for our dog's digestive systems. A recent study from Tufts University, though, shows dogs who eat grain-free food or food with exotic meat proteins are at greater risk of developing heart disease, and it can cause sudden death. We don't know quite yet what in the grain-free foods is causing um, these heart diseases and changes in the heart, um, but they're doing more research to find that out. The rise in popularity of grain-free foods followed gluten-free trends in humans. But veterinarian Dr. Jennifer Lee says she recommends tried and true brands like Purina. Just because something is pricier or something's cheaper does not indicate the quality of the food. Bathing your dog doesn't have to leave you with a salon-like bill. Skip the name brand dog shampoos and share yours. Baby shampoos such as Johnson & Johnson's for little puppies. Lee's husband, also a vet, Dr. Zachary Reynolds, says any old shampoo will do. And Blue Dawn dish soap won't leave a scent, but it works well too. They give their own pups fast dissolving chews, but avoid popular pricey bones and sticks that can break off and choke your puppy. A lot of these bones can actually, again, fracture the teeth, the deer antlers sometimes. You know, they can actually poke holes in the hard palate of the mouth, which is the top of the mouth. So both vets say that pet insurance is worth the price because most families don't budget for pet-related emergencies, so it's definitely something that you should consider.